Firstly, you have to look at uh, the situation of it, you know. So look at how is your reaction to that uh, situation. So once you've seen this, uh, uh, let's say, the situation, you review the situation, then you can, uh, then you become easy to add, uh, to let go of it, you know. But first, look at it, you know, and forgive yourself for how you react, how you fought, all this stuff. Once you have forgiven yourself, you will see that it's easy to forgive others. Because you see, forgiveness, we can say, yes, it's easy to forgive somebody else. Because you don't have anything to do with that person. Whether it's a dear one or not, you know. You're still a separate person. You can just say, okay, okay, good, I forgive you, go away, finish with it. But truly, have you forgiven? No, because if inside of you you have not forgiven, the guilt will still haunt you. At the back of your mind, this will still be there. You know, but you have done something, and because this is the the, the, the somebody else can forgive you, but you have to forgive also yourself. And then God will give you forgiveness. That's what I was saying to once, you know, somebody was saying, you know, we go to the church and ask forgiveness in the church. But this every day you can go and confess to the priest, you know. That uh, just to clear your conscience, to clear that, uh, okay, I've done something bad, but I don't want to acknowledge it. Somebody else should acknowledge it for me. Let me go and ask for forgiveness. You know. You can go to a priest and ask for forgiveness, but it don't mean anything. As long as you don't regret it and really, when you regret, this is already the, 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 say, the step to forgiving. Because when you have this regret inside, you're already forgiving yourself. Then it's easy for you to go and ask forgiveness to somebody else or to forgive somebody else.